Hey guys, welcome. Looks dark. Ooh. Welcome, 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 welcome. How are you guys doing today? Waiting on a few people to come in. Everybody's everywhere. It's Saturday. Hey, welcome, welcome to the live. As you see from the topic is, would you date someone who has kids? If you're just coming in and you have a thumbs up the live for me, please thumbs it up for me. I would greatly appreciate it. And we're also going to be doing Jamaica and Patwa trivia. Did see that in the bushes? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're waiting on a few more people to come in and then we'll start the show. Welcome everyone to the live. Welcome, welcome. Hey, all in the family. How are you? How are you doing today? If you guys just coming in and you have a thumbs it up yet for me, please thumbs it up. Hey, Chrissy Bouge. Absolutely not. <laughs> you have me crack it up this early in the live. <laughs> you know, I like to laugh, so that's good. Welcome, welcome. The question today is, would you date someone who has kids? Now, personally, it would depend on the age of the child. Hey, Miss Sugar, what's going on? Yes, uh, is it Trista or is it the whole family? Hello, hey. <laughs> No, Miss Sugar, you come up in here cracking up this early. You know what we do on Saturdays. We always do. Okay, Trista, welcome. You know, we always do a little bit of Jamaican trivia. And we also do a topic. So the topic is, would you date someone who has kids? I know that's a tough one because it all depends on what the age of the child is, what the relationship is. So it's, it's a tough one. Kids sometimes don't accept the other partner. So it's a tough one. But me me personally, it has to do depend on the age of the child because sometimes <laughs> I should say I wrong and strong because I have make and I don't want no man with no Chrissy. Oh. How the hell can you have kids and don't want no man with no picnic, huh? That don't sound right. <laughs> Would I date someone with kids? I don't know. My general is no, but there could be some exception. La for la. I've dated someone with children. So how was your how was um how was it dating someone with kids? Um, Miss Sugar. Now, Chrissy, why do you say um you wouldn't date someone with kids? Like for me personally, it depends on the age. If it's a young child, then yes, because that time the child is very impressionable. And if I make a good impression, then they'll like me. But if it's older kids, then it's like, but at my age, it's probably going to be a younger child. <laughs> but if it's older kids, then it's kind of um, crazy because those older kids are already in their way and they they don't like you, they don't like you, and they'll let you know. I see someone else just join us. Welcome. I like how you say that, um, Miss Sugar. Cheering. So, what? Well, how was? How was it dating someone with children? <laughs> and um, Trista, um, I see you say um. Your rule is no, but there could be some exception. Like what exception? Is it based on 
how much you love this person or is it based on how friendly the child is? If you're just coming in and you haven't thumbs it up, thumbs it up for me, please. I barely met the kids. It was hard getting quality time because the children will always be first. Oh, yeah, definitely. I could see that. But but that's also, it's a, it, it, it's a part of it is a positive and a part of it was a negative because you didn't get enough time, yes. And then also you didn't have to interact with the kids as much. So I know for sure that was a good thing because if you had to interact with the kids, then you'd have to interact with all these um, personalities and all of stuff. <laughs> so Chrissy, you've dated um, men with kids prior and now it's a no. Why do you say no this time versus the last time? That's so true, Miss Sugar. Everybody got kids now. That's why I'm 27 and everybody asks me, how do you not have any kids? But, you know, everything takes time. For me, I think it depends on... Hey, Melda242, welcome, welcome. I'm happy to have you here. All right, Trista said, for me, I think it depends on how much I care about the person and also the relationship is with them. And the mother. That that's very important. Um, yeah, but you have some kids who are very rude and they'll look you in your face and they'll be like, Oh, I don't, I don't want you ever telling you those kids, whew, I'm a little selfish if I get with someone that has children that could hinder plans that I would have to travel move, etc. That's true, but but maybe one day you'll have your own kids and then they'll probably hinder the same thing. So I mean. Me, it goes back to the relationship that the child I would have with the child, but also, you know, the younger the child is, it's the easier it is to deal with them because they don't know as much as the older kids. But the reason why I came up with this topic today because I was watching the last season of 90 Day Fiance, and um, I saw this man who came into a family with three kids and the two younger kids warmed up to him, but the older one um, didn't. Um, I'll answer you. <laughs> I'll answer you like a white side Caribbean one because I said <laughs> that's so true, Chrissy. Everybody in the Caribbean, they're going to tell you, welcome, welcome. I see two new people join us. Welcome. The topic is, would you date someone with children, as Miss Sugar would say? No, Miss Sugar, the odds is, is 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 rare, but I feel like there's still people out there who are still career driven and they're not worried about kids. So it's gonna be hard to find, but you know, maybe the uh maybe some miracle might happen. Hey, welcome TLS Motivation. Welcome, welcome. It's happy to have you here. All right, so how many kids is your cutoff? Like how many kids is your cutoff? And if you guys just coming in and you have a thumbs up the live, please thumbs it up for me. Uh, oh, um, Trista said, also, I have some PTSD. I dated someone for a year. They had one child when we began dating. And five at a time, we ended a year later. And none of those children were with. Oh, I'm sorry about that. But yeah, I I, too, I do understand that. But it's, it's crazy. Um, sometimes people have a whole bunch of kids. And I understand why. Um, people wanna wouldn't want to date someone who has multiple children because it's more drama. Sometimes you have the baby mother drama or the baby daddy drama. <laughs> oh Lord. Chrissy. Chrissy. Chrissy Bouge. Uh that's a typical Caribbean woman in you talking like that, say you don't want no marriage and no man with children. <laughs> Yes, Trista, I love that show too. Um, it's starting back on Sunday before the 90 day. So I may incorporate like a little review in uh, some of my videos coming up. Um, hey, Yanni Boss, babe, welcome. Um, TLS Motivation said so one or two if they buy the same person since I have a daughter. I'm up. Uh, that, that's, that's very fair. Yeah. One or two, I think, is a perfect number because. 
Once you get more than that, it becomes crazy. Why? Because... <laughs> Now, Chrissy, you know why. <laughs> hey, sis, what's going on? What's going on? That's my sister in the house, Stacey Ann Simpson. Um, oh, laugh out loud, sugar, right? Oh, <laughs> I didn't even see the sugars coming. Right, laugh out loud, plus I have yet to. <laughs> oh, good. Miss Sugar. You come up, baby, you're cracking me up. So, Yanni Boss, babe, welcome. Uh, we have a lot of great people in here. So, if you're connecting, just connect with them. Leave a heart, and then you can go over and watch a video, and um, they'll get you back. And leave a genuine comment. But welcome. <laughs> now, sis, you say no man with kids. Why? Come on, tell me why you wouldn't date a man with kids. And if you guys just coming up and you haven't thumbs it up yet, please thumbs it up for me. Okay, you can connect, but make sure you just use one heart and make sure you go watch a video and leave a genuine comment. Please don't say return, done, or anything like that. But we can definitely, um, you know, connect with each other. Too much drama. Yeah, I told her every day. Hey, Auntie Shella, welcome. Thank you for sharing me out. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you guys just coming in and you haven't thumbs it up yet, please thumbs it up for me. I would truly appreciate it. The topic tonight is, I know a lot of people already answered this question. Oh, you're from the Philippines, the Philippines in the house. Um, shout out. The question is, would you date someone with children? Now, I know this differ from men to women um, because a lot of men, they're more about the person that they're dating versus the children. And there should be a balance. If you're with, like in Jamaica, they say... Um, I can't remember the saying right now, but they say once you accept the mother, then you should accept the kids. So, yeah, um, my sister said, because in this age and time, man with kids are baby mama drama unless the kids are good. That's so true. Um, that's definitely true. I do agree with that. But I also feel like the younger the child is, then the easier it is to deal with them or to mold them in the way that you want them to be molded. So. That could be a plus too, but yeah, I can understand from a woman perspective and the baby mama drama. <clears throat> I still got this cold, so if you hear me doing this, I'm sorry. Um, Miss Sugar said, Laugh out loud. I'm just saying, Adrian, love having children is a life changer. You have to be really worth it for me to have. <laughs> Miss Sugar, I, I'm, I, I truly, truly appreciate you all being here and giving me a laugh. And, you know, we always crack it up over here. So it's fun. Um, Trista said, I agree, Stacey. And sometimes the kids themselves are wonderful with the drama. That Oh, yeah, that's so true. But I do understand that from a woman's perspective. It's a little bit different for men um, than women. So, yeah, um, that's very true. If they are young, it's sometimes. Yeah, it's definitely um, for the most part. Unless um, the parents had like a tight-knit relationship prior um, to you coming in the picture, and then it becomes harder for you to come in. But yes, yeah, so I appreciate you all coming in. We're gonna we're gonna play the patois game. Uh, we're gonna see how well you know your patois. And uh, hey, Coach Sherry, welcome, welcome. Um, we're going to kind of put a pin in that topic for right now until we get a few more new people in. Or if you still want to talk about it based on comments that you've seen, then we can definitely continue with it. But we're going to play a little bit of the Patois game. We'll see how many people know their Patois. All right. So there's this. There is. It's funny because there's. This, you won't see nothing. There. If you go Google and you um, Google Jamaican Patois Dictionary, you'll see um, a so-called dictionary. So they'll give you patwa words, and then they'll give you the meaning. But don't do that now, because we want the game to be fun. We want to get a laugh from what you think it is. But you can brush up your skills for next week, because we'll be doing it next week again. <laughs> Miss Sugar, we... <coughs> she said, Miss Sugar, we don't want no man with children. They can't spend their money on... <laughs> 
Miss Sugar, you ain't gonna fail. Um, right now we're in the A category. So um this one is easy. Um, what do you think this means? October. October. It's a month. That's easy. From I give you that, you should know it. October. Give me one second. Ooh. October. 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 <laughs> I knew I should have told you that it's a month. Yeah, you all got it right. It's October. Um, can't take us to back. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> hey, Angel, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Trista, Trista. <laughs> I didn't click meant nothing. I'm not changing the topic, Chrissy. I'm waiting on a few more people to come in. Maybe because you don't have all your notification on, Angel. I don't know. Um, I'm just waiting on a few more people to come in. But as I said, you guys are um, going to keep the chat going. So if you guys want to continue on the topic, we can constantly say it. But then I feel like um, we can definitely bounce off each other in the comments section. And then... Um, we can play the game in between. But once you get a few more new people in here and we get their perspective, then we can jump back on the topic. Um, Coach Cherry said, <laughs> Laugh, uh, if he can't afford a dollar, baby. <laughs> oh, Lord. I know you're joking, Chrissy. I know. But you got to do some clickbait sometimes. It's YouTube, you know? <laughs> now, if you're dating someone and they can't afford a dollar, baby, deuces. <laughs> Now, you all got me cracking up. Um, <laughs> Chrissy, I'm weak too. Oh, goodness. All right, we're going to go into the B category. I meant Q to leave. Laugh -o. Okay, but sugar. <laughs> all right, B. Let's see what's in the B category. For the patois. Yeah, but that's all true, Miss Sugar. It's, 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 it's... All right, so everybody, everybody um, use this all the time. If uh, I know you guys going to get this. Um, what is the English for bad gal? All the ladies out there, bad gal. Man with children. Go 50-50. Okay, I don't know. La. <laughs> what's the what's the English word for bad girl? <laughs> the girl is sexy. Uh no. Bad girl. Angel said rebel. My sister said rude girl. <laughs> Bad girl, bad girl, bad girl I run. Like you, Miss Sugar, you're a bad girl I run. <laughs> Just as a bad B. <laughs> Chrissy Moon, sexy of oh no Chrissy. Every, um everybody are, are amongst the lines. My sister is a rude girl. So is it girl mean girl? And then bad is the same meaning. So bad girl. That's what it means. <laughs> Miss Sugar say, I'm a bad girl. I'm a saint. Jesus. Laugh on her. You can be a saint, Miss Sugar, but you know, you always got the the the, the 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 little, you know, edge to you, which makes you who you are. Fast girl. No, bad girl mean bad girl. Hey Arlito and mommy, welcome. Okay, thank you for listening and thank you for being here. All right, the next one is Oh, 
Oh, Lord. <laughs> this one is. I don't want to say that one. The next one is. So this is similar to what we're talking about now. Be a be mother. Be a be mother. Who would know what that means? Be a be mother. Who in here be a be mother? <laughs> uh, Trista said, be a good mother. No, Trista. Be a be mother. Yes, everybody was a baby mother. That's it. Be a be mother. <laughs> Oh yes, Trista, the accent. It, it, it's hard to catch if you don't um if you don't understand. If you guys just coming up and you are coming in and you have a thumbs it up, please thumbs it up for me. All right, so this one is um I'm not even gonna do that one because you know um a lot of people probably have a problem with that. So I won't do that one. All right, so if child mother laugh. <laughs> All right, so some people do this too much. Chatty, chatty. Who can tell me what chatty, chatty means? Chatty, chatty. Thank you, Trista. Chatty, chatty. I appreciate everyone for being here. If someone look at it and see a chatty, chatty. <laughs> Yeah, everybody who said talk too much, yes, that's correct. You chat too much. That's another way that they'll say. All right. So there's this one that um let's see. All right, so this one sounds like what it is. Tune. Hey, Bambi. Welcome. Welcome, Bambi. Thank you, Riri, for the raid. Welcome, everyone, to the live. I appreciate you all for being here. Our topic tonight is, would you date someone with kids? And also, we're playing the Patwa game. Welcome, Vern's Junk Closet. Welcome, Shen. Welcome, Animal Lover. You see, I can't even talk. Thank you, Riri, for the raid. Hey, Sonia. Hey, Icy. Hey, mukbang and things. Hey, sing, sing, Kiether. I hope I said that right. Uh, 96 gal, welcome. Thank you all for being here. If you haven't thumbs it up, please thumbs it up for me. I really, I truly appreciate the raid. The topic tonight is, would you date someone who has kids? And in between the chat, we're also playing the Patwa game. Hey, Rans clan for life. I'm doing well, Riri. How are you? I was in the live earlier, but I didn't talk too much. Hey, Christine World. Welcome, welcome. D. Levon. So if you guys want to join in the conversation in the comment section, we can feed off each other. The topic is, would you date someone with kids? And if so, have you ever done it before? What's your um, experience with that? And would you ever do it again? So there's a lot of, you know, layers to that. Bambi said, I have a daughter, but I do not want to date someone with kids. Someone else in the chat just said that. Chrissy Bouge said that too. And Bambi, what, um, the next question is, why wouldn't you date someone with kids? Thank you, Angel. Angel, it is you know, I, I do understand uh, when someone have kids and they say they wouldn't want to date someone with kids. So I do understand that. That's true, um, Coach Sherry. Um, the time is very important because if you're trying to build something, then you need to spend enough time with each other. Um, Sonia said, I've dated someone with kids. It didn't bother me. And yes, I would do it again. I have a runny nose, so I'm sorry. 
Um, Christine World said, yes, I would. So, um, Sonia, the question is, because um, I, I remember Miss Sugar earlier said to me that she um, dated someone with kids prior, but they didn't have like a close knit. Uh, she didn't see the kids very often. Was that your situation? Or I'm not trying to pry in your business, but uh, we're just trying to get an open conversation and see um, like to what extent that was. Thank you, Mukbang. Um, just Bambi said, my daughter is 17. She will. Oh yeah. I totally understand that. That's what I was saying earlier is that, um, the younger the child is, it's easier for you to date someone with kids. But yeah, if you have a grown daughter too, you don't want to be dating. Um, I'm listening and have to comment. I would not date someone with kids at my age because I want the experience of being a mommy and daddy. To get. But you can still have that experience. Our leader and mommy, um, All in the family. I would have never guessed you had a baby that. Oh, yeah. Bambi looked real young. Coach Sherry said, I have friends with kids out of HS and they have wouldn't date again with young kids. Yeah, it's it's um it's a it's a final line. You gotta work with what works for you. You understand? Um, that's how I feel. Um, Sonia said, no, I was close with his daughter and he's a single father and I pretty much read. Well, that's awesome. It's always great when you can, um, find good stepmoms out there. Cause you have some of these stepmoms who don't care about the kids, especially when they have kids of their own. Um, Angel said, I believe if you can take me with a child, you must can accept. The that's true, Angel. And I feel like a lot of, um, Jamaican women think like that, but as you go different places in the world. Um, you find people thinking differently. <laughs> Mooker laugh. Chrissy Booster, our leader, won the that brand new experience. Um, that's true, but I also feel like um, I also feel like once th that person have experienced that having a child prior, then they'll probably be more understanding or understand how to properly take care of a child. Oh, yes. So my sister is in the chat. That's Stacey and Sam. So she says, stepmom is the next topic. Step monster. So um, we're going to um, um, re-read. Chris said, I remember 25. I got pregnant with Alex. Uh, Riri said, I have one child and I would date someone and and I've dated someone with kids. I don't use the word step because we are family. That, that, that's a great way to look at it. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, Riri, for the raid. Um, so yeah, let's let's kind of um get off topic a little bit. What do you guys think about um stepmom, stepdad? Have you ever had a good um relationship with your stepmom, stepdad? I know a lot of people um they have let me get back on my phone. I know a lot of people have great stepmoms out there. I know a lot of people are great stepmoms themselves. So um, what do you guys think about that situation? But I like how Riri um, put it. She said we're family, so we don't use a step. Because you have a lot of people who are offended by the word step because it's a step is something that you walk on. So <laughs> I do understand uh, what you're saying. Did I miss something from all in the family? We call our stepmom our bonus mom. That's awesome. Well, I can't relate to you guys because <laughs> my sister is in the chat too. And we can't relate um, to that situation. I mean, my dad is older. He married to an older lady. I mean, in their age group. So it's a little bit different, but yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I like my stepmom. <laughs> no, my <I'm> bag. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys first time here, I, I laugh a lot. So I'm not laughing at you. I'm just laughing. Um, she said. <laughs> I didn't like my stepdad. Oh yeah. It, it, it's very, it, it's a, it's, it's something where as kids and uh, we grow up and we see our parents with somebody for over a period of time. 
and then we realize that the situation is changing. Sometimes we don't even give that person a chance to see um, how it is. Yeah, my sister said it second. It's second mom, no stepmom. Yeah, because um, my mom and my dad never been married, but they were together for a long time. And my sister classify her as her stepmom or her second mom versus my dad's real wife. So yeah. Who is my sister, Stacy Ann Simpson? She ain't got a profile picture, but she's pretty. <laughs> um, Trista said, I had a stepmom and she was the devil. I'm going to save the story for a whole video. Oh, Trista, we all will be checking out that video. If you guys just coming in and you haven't thumbs up the live, please thumbs it up for me. Um, laugh all lot, but in her case, she wasn't a boy. <laughs> she was like... <laughs> now, we know about those evil people. <laughs> never had a stepdad or a stepmom. Well, that's awesome. If you never had that situation, it's always good um, because it can be an added, added pressure to everything else. Um, Mukbang thing said, I call her my stepmom. That's what she is. It's not offensive to her or me. Each person is different. That word doesn't change our love. We're like best friends. That's awesome. It's always great when you can um, build true relationship with people. And so on. Uh, Shen said, my dad's second wife was extremely mean to me as a child because she felt like my dad was still in love with me. My mom, she would pull my hair. Oh, Shen, I'm so sorry. But yeah, you have a lot of things like that. Like I can jump into this topic a little bit further as it relates to like stepmom. Uh, my dad married this woman. They used to come to Jamaica all the time. And she was of the impression that I look more like my mom versus my dad. And because my dad and my mom was together for a long time, um, she felt like they were still in love. So she would say, um, she would come to Jamaica. She would, there were three of us in Jamaica. She would come and she would bring um, like cards and money for my other two siblings who are older. And she would never give me anything. She'd tell my dad, you are responsible for Adrian. So I do understand that. Um, Coach Sherry said, I hear you, Trista. That's a whole other video. I got a stepmom after my parents were married for 52 years and my mom passed. Whew. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. Um, Miss Sugar said, my mom treated me like that. Now, you all probably don't know this about me, but I'm very emotional. <laughs> ah. Um... So you hear the tone in my voice change, but it's all good. I'll, I'll get through it. <clears throat> Sonia said, I can't mistreat anyone's child. It's not their fault. That's so true, um, Sonia. I will definitely watch that quote, Sherry. My dad has passed since passed. Yeah, Trista, I'm 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 good. I'm good. I, I have emotions like if I watch certain shows and there's like people who you can tell that they are truly in love and then um they probably don't get to be together because of a certain different situation, then I kind of feel bad and I'll get a little tears. <laughs> yeah, but those videos are like um great, great videos. For us to catch. Um, but yep, I think everybody has calmed down on the topic. We'll probably get a few more new people in here. All right, Angel, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Okay, there's more questions coming in. Um, well, comments. Ms. Sugar said, I didn't have a relationship with my mother. <laughs> She was very abusive. We are better now, but the wound's still fresh. Um, Miss Sugar, I'm sorry about that, but it's also therapeutic to get certain things out. So we need, I don't know if it's too hard for you, but a video would be nice because I think it will help some other people. Um, Okay, don't say anything loud because my mom is listening. I'm in the kitchen. Oh, okay, our leader, mommy. Um, TLS motivation said, sorry to hear those story, man, kids don't deserve. It. Definitely, definitely. Um, mukbang and things said, um, I felt that raised by a woman's scoring part. Whew. Um, Coach Sherry said, 
we get in deep on you know i like deep conversations because it also helps me to understand people's journey and it also connects us because we probably share similar stories so it's all good um Riri said, I can't stand my dad's wife in the beginning, but over years I've learned to tolerate her. I was a young adult. Oh, yeah, that's so true. Sometimes over a period of time, you learn to tolerate people. But some of these people act like, you know, you owe them something. Um, or you just said... I won't read that out, Orlito. Oh, now, I don't know what to say about that. Thank you, Mukbang. Yeah, that would be definitely hard. Um, if you guys just coming in, please thumbs up the live. Mukbang and things just dropped the topic. Um, once we slow down on the topic and so on, then we're going to be playing um the jamaican patwa trivia uh <laughs> and bs bys 2020 welcome welcome thank you for coming um trista said let me get us <laughs> <Let me see. laughs> ah. i got a runny nose so i'm sorry hey bite with brina welcome welcome how are you the topic is would you date someone with kids now, let us know your, your feelings. And we're also talking about step stepmothers. What you feel about stepmom? Have you had a good relationship with your stepmother? Yes or no? Yes, Mukbang. I need to follow your, um, your remedy. I need to go get some of that stuff. Yeah, I'm getting... I've been sick for like a month now. But it just seems like it's never going away. Now I've taken everything. I would say if you do date someone with kids, no matter how old they are, meet them before you get married. Oh yeah, that that's that's so true. Um, but I've reached a stage in my life where I think like a lot of people will say, um, yeah, elderberry. Um, I'll try it, mukbang and see if it will get me better. A lot of people. Whew, I lost my chain of thought. Let me see what my sister said. And over a period of time, you learn that it's fine to cut people off too. That's so true, sis. Uh, sometimes you learn that those people ain't for you and you just got to just treat them with a distance. Shen, um, it's not really sick for a whole month. It's more like I had a cold Um because it's still cold here on and off, it kind of seems like it's hard for me to get rid of the cold. But I'm not feeling sick as in I'm not drowsy or anything like that. Now, why would you date someone with a kid by with Brina? Have you dated someone with kids before? Um, why would you date someone with kids? Because, I mean, a lot of people will say they'll date someone with kids because they're on social media right now. And they want to look good in the eyes of the people, but we're having an honest, <laughs> we're having an honest um, question and um, conversation. Coach Sherry said, "Take some zinc." Now, what's that good for, Coach Sherry? Hey, the H gang, welcome. You know, I take all of that too, Coach Sherry. I think um, the whole thing is just draining on my system now, so I think I'll be good. Oh yeah, Chrissy Bush is a is a is a is a is a character. But yeah, if you guys just coming in, or oh, immune system, okay. If you guys just coming in and you haven't thumbs up the live, please thumbs it up for me. And also, the topic is. Would you date someone with kids? And also, um, what's your experience with a stepmom or a stepdad? Thank you, sis, for that part B of the question. Uh, Alnia Vlog, welcome. Welcome to the live. Um, back with Brina said I would date someone with a kid because they are more understanding. They understand the time 
we have to invest. Well, that's that's true. That's always explained to a lot of people in here earlier. But I can also understand both sides. And it differs from men to women. I'm from Jamaica, but I live in West Virginia. Now, where are you from, Alnia Vlad? Yes, Chrissy, you're a character. You are a character. We have some um, hilarious people in here, so it's good. It keeps the conversation going. Thank you, Trista. Hey, Daryl Cotton, how are you? Where are you all at, um, Trista? Jello pasta. Oh, wow. I'm a little bit even stammer. What, what is jello pasta? No, we understand Arlito. Thank you. A eating with a purpose. Welcome. Yes, I did some with a with a child. So, um, over here we have an op open conversation. Um, it's okay if you don't want to share your experience, but um, we we if you say you would date someone with a child, typically I don't know, but we we like to ask like, why would you date someone with a child? Is it because you have a child? Is it because you have had a good experience before? You have had a bad experience? So the topic is much more deeper than just the title of what it is. Um, oh, Cincinnati. But that's a good probably five hours, maybe. I know I talk about this in probably my first live. Adrian, don't drive. And everybody get on me and say I need to get a driver's license. But, you know. Yeah, definitely. Um, see, I didn't even read. I just read the first part. <laughs> This life is match, match your money. I'd, oh, Lord. Now, Chrissy, you sound like a money grabber. <laughs> Are you a gold digger, Chrissy? Talking about money. That's all you're talking about up in here? Um, I seen a question coming. Yeah, I, I did answer that question earlier, Angel, but you probably weren't in here. I said I would date um, a woman with, child, with, with a child or children, but it depends on the age. I feel like the younger the child is, the easier it is to kind of um, mold them in the situation that you want them to be. But it also goes much deeper than that because you will have... I've seen this situation happen quite often where you have parents who... Have their kids. Hey, Virgo, Virgo Queen, welcome. Um, you have people who the parents will tell um, the so-called stepdad or the, whoever they're dating or probably the mom to. The parent on a whole were dating someone else. They'll tell them, you know, this is, you don't talk to my child. I'm the only one who, who talk to my child. If they do something bad, then you come to me. That's not a proper way to raise kids. If you are dating someone... Um, they should be. They should have the right to be able to correct the child without coming to you. I'm not saying spank them or anything like that, but I feel like you should be able to. Hey, creative Creole, welcome. You're sneaking and peeking. I appreciate you being here. Um... <laughs> Bye, with Breen. Everybody know you are something else. Um. Coach Cherry said, if you're dating someone with a child, find out for sure if they were ever married. I know of someone that didn't find out until they went in the marriage. Oh, wow. Now, Coach Cherry, will you go check out those videos? Thank you for being here, Alnia Vlog. All right. Mr. Daryl Cotton said, that I married my wife. She has a son. I love him. And he loves me. Me and his father have a decent relationship. Oh, that's that's awesome, um, Mr. Cotton. That's awesome, awesome. Um, that's 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 uh, that's that's the type of things that I like to hear. I like when um, the child 
is receptive to the the, 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 the step parent or whatever you want to classify it as. They um, take them into open arms and they um, appreciate them and they accept them. Then it becomes easier for the whole relationship to flow. <sighs> My sister said, I don't like the rotation when I need anything. He going to tell me <laughs> he just take care of his child or children. Yeah, someone said that earlier to sis. Um, yeah. Chrissy Boots say, I'm not Adrian. I don't want a man money. I'm protected by his because I have a child. I work to that, that that's that's awesome. Um that's awesome. Um Mukbang said, Adrian, a guy I was dating OMG. This child <laughs> Hey, some child can be like that. He let her stay in the way. I was blazing over time too much. Oh, yes. That's the thing. I feel like um, as parents, people should know the boundaries of their of their kids. Uh, yeah, that, that's just too much. Um, Virgo Queen T, you heard the topic. Would you date someone with a child? Or um, have you had a positive relationship with step parents? If you want to join in the conversation, we'd love to hear your point of view. Eating with a purpose. Thank you, Aunt Shella. Um, eating with a purpose said when me and my hubby started dating, his children was four long. Was four. Long story short, we are married now, and it wasn't deal. Yeah, I can understand that. That's why I always say um, it's different based on men or women. I'm moving slow in the comments, but I'm trying to catch every bag. Thank you, Mukbang, and thanks. D. Levon, as um, Miss Sugar always say. Um, or lead on mommy, says so I was doing someone and after three months. Oh, or lead on mommy. That's, that stuff happens all the time, especially amongst Caribbean men. Um, they'll, tell, they'll tell someone they have two kids, and then when they find out they got five, six, seven kids. <laughs> so, yeah. People will say just about anything just to get in a relationship. That's why um, in my videos, in a few videos, I said that um, living with someone, see me and come live with me is two different things, meaning just dating someone casually or just seeing them over weekends or whatever and living with them are two totally different situations. The deeper you get into um, those conversations and the true colors really, really start to come out. Oh, yeah, people lie for, for no reason just to get what they want. Coach Sherry, we thank you for being here. We thank everybody for being here, but we thank you for being here because I, I see you say um, had a busy week, so I appreciate you hanging in here. I know a lot of people had busy weeks. It's Saturday. You could be anywhere else, and you're here, so <laughs> thank you. Um. OMG, I for that. <laughs> oh, look, Arlena, mommy, you're the best. Um, Trista said, oh, no. If I found out you like to be about some stuff like that, we done. Oh, I mean, it all depends on how far the relationship has gone, though. Some people, you know, we are, like, slipping off topic, but that's the cool thing about it. We can slip and we can fall back in line. Um, Yeah, you, you have people... It depends. Some it's also say love makes you blind. So you have a lot of people who probably because they've been invested in this relationship for a long time, then they'll say I've invested too much. I've invested too much time. Um, so it's hard for them to leave the situation. But that's good that you um, know what you're willing to accept and what you're not willing to accept. So that's great. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, okay, mukbang and things. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> mm. Hey, K Cotton, welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. Your husband was here. Well, you know, you're going to see the chat anyway. I'm not a snitch. 
But he was here chatting up with, with, with us, which I appreciated. So thank you all for tuning in. Um, Coach Sherry says, that's dope. All oh, ever so often when things mention the topic at end, people. <laughs> you know, a lot of people, when they see lives, um, Coach Sherry, they come into network. So once the, it's not a network stream and it's a topic, they normally just hit the door, but that's okay. Um, the real people are still here. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you can lie to me from the beginning of a relationship, I just feel the whole. That's true, but I, 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 I um, I feel like some people lie about certain things. Lies never, never good, but you know, sometimes they do certain things to to protect certain things. I don't know, but I'm not making an excuse for that. Um, do, 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 do. thank you, Trista. Um, Bambi's back, bike, bike, or back? Which one? Love makes you stupid. Oh, yeah, that's so true. Love do make people stupid, but you also got to open your eyes when you see that this ain't working for you. Hey, Chalino Sanchez, welcome. Thank you, Aunt Shella. Hey, Zion. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Did you see our topic? We know you've been married for a long time, but maybe back in your earlier days, you had a situation or a few. So you can join in the topic. Hey, Aeon. Welcome, welcome. Brina, I ain't talking to you for the rest of the evening because I tried calling you back. And you, well, I didn't. I'm lying. Um, I'm probably going to be on here for... At least two hours. I'm only here for an hour already. Trista don't want you call her, Brina. She's on the live enjoying herself. She don't want you calling her. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, man. This cold. Mm. So, um, Creative Creole said, child, my opinion about love are very unpopular. Ain't never been a sucker for love. No, I can understand that, that creative. I feel like you have a lot of those, um, what you call it? Like a lot of people in Jamaica are very similar to that. That's why you see a lot of people in Jamaica are not quick to get married. You'll see people be together for 20, 30 years and they never get married. So, and I feel like we re-relate on certain things culturally. So I can understand why um, you feel that way. Um, Chrissy said, I don't deal with liars. First lie, you're out. No, Chrissy, come on. You tell lies sometimes too. Don't you ever tell a lie? <laughs> eh. Aeon, you're all in. The topic is, would you date someone with kids? I know you're married now and all these things, but you know. Would you date someone with kids? Have you ever had a stepmom, stepdad, and how was the relationship? Um, <laughs> Thank you, our leader, mommy. Thanks to um, Life of Riri. She gave me a raid. And we have some awesome people who are always here supporting. So I appreciate you all for being here. Um, and watching... And AACP awards. <laughs> I'm no, Chrissy. You know how we are. I'm just, I'm just asking. Hey, Mike and Sana, Sana or Sana. I hope I said that right. Welcome, welcome. I appreciate y'all for being here. If you guys want to connect, that's okay. Just put a heart beside their name. Please make sure that you watch a video. Leave a genuine comment. They'll get back to you because we have awesome people in here. Very supportive. So, Yeah, ask her, Arlita, mommy. Everybody lie about something. All right, Brina. 
you better stay in the live or have me running or I'm going to take that mod stick from you because you come in here yesterday demanding to be a moderator. You got to stay in here with me. That's all. That's what all my moderators do. You got to be up in here working, telling the people to thumbs up the live. <laughs> Thank you, Kay. <laughs> I, I, I don't mean it like that. You all ain't working for me. You're working with me. I'm just messing with Brina, okay? Hey, Jill, welcome. You're talking about big lies. Okay. A lie is a lie. Whether small or big, Chrissy. <laughs> uh, Trista said, and a big lie is I have one child where you really have three and seven. Aeon <laughs> uh, said, I don't need anyone with kids. Sorry, I'm not going to be. Dead. No, Aeon. It's not a babysitter. <laughs> Thank you, Riri. Thank you. <laughs> Hell no, nah, no kids for me. Oh, my. No, you guys, I'm telling you, you guys keep me going. Exactly all in. Thank you, Trista. <laughs> <laughs> Creative Crow said when the direct deposit got a hit. Oh my. <laughs> All right, so Arlita Mommy said, okay, would you guys date someone who is smelly? Arlita Mommy. Only a dumb person gonna date someone who is smelly. <laughs> Oh, goodness. <laughs> all right, all right, um, Miss Sugar. Oh, Chrissy, I didn't know you were a Sabbath. All right, Chrissy, I'll see you. Thank you for coming. I lied to myself, but if you lie, you have a reminder. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's so true. Um, Riri. <laughs> Uh, why did you say, um, Arlita? I don't know why. Over here, where are you at? She said, Over here. Oh, Lord, I can't even focus. I'm laughing too much. She said, Oh, she said, I don't know why. Over here, women who smell like armpits, horrible, they get. <laughs> They get married quick. Oh Lord. I feel like people um I can never relate to someone who get married within three months, six months, a year, maybe. Um, I'm not judging anybody, but from the culture where I'm from in Jamaica, as I said, people be dating for 20, 30 years and never get married. They're not very big on marriage. It depends, Jill. What what does it depend on? Um Trista said, not someone smelly though. <laughs> Or is that um, a couple of days old food or something? No, that ain't going to work. Um, Virgo, if you see one kid, I'm right now. <laughs> oh, goodness. No, you all are cracking me up. Uh. Hey, Chrissy, you run too much joke, you know? You run too much joke. Top boy, judge what we have. <laughs> All right, so I think <clears throat> a lot of people slowed down on the topic. So we're going to jump back into our, our, I'll just wait a minute and see if anyone have anything else to say. Give me one second. All right, I'm back. This cold trying not to make me great, you know? Thank you, creative. I appreciate it. That's fine. We want to hear it, Jill. Jill said I'm sipping, so my response may be silly. <laughs> eh. 
Ayan said, I'm going to change my name to I don't want no coolies. <laughs> Ayan, you are the best. But yeah, if you guys just coming in, the question is, would you date someone with kids? And also, have you ever had a positive or a negative relationship with your stepmom or stepdad? Oh, Zion, yeah, that, 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 that's true. Relationships are hard. They always got the hops and the downs. <clears throat> um, or Lita said, what do you guys think about the woman growing up? Now, Arlito and Mommy wants to know, what do you guys think about the woman growing out their armpit hair and leg hair to show off? I ain't got nothing to say about that. I ain't a woman. Okay, Jill, I understand. There's a lot of nobodies around. <laughs> um... Coach Cherry said, but is it cool if you date someone with kids the same age as yours and they start, oh, Lord. That's another story. Like, I, I'm enjoying this conversation tonight because the topic is just keep flowing and to each their own. That's so true, Um, the creative. Um, And they start dating. That was a situation that one of my daughter's teammates experienced. Now... I don't agree with that, but to each their own. Um. <laughs> yeah, the smell, this uh, American sauna. I hope I said that right. Yeah, the smell is a, is a, is a, is a no no. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a no 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 no. <laughs> All right, so we're going to um, do a little bit of that Jamaican patwa. I'll see your guys' skill in the patwa. If... Hey, Mama Dell, welcome, welcome. I don't know if you want to share your opinion on my topic, but we were asking, would you date someone with kids? And... If you have had a positive um, or negative relationship with a stepmom or stepdad, um, Mama Dell in the building. Me no want, me no want to, <laughs> me no want to smell you. You gotta run into a stop sign if you. <laughs> That's so true, Aeon. That's so true. Um, creative said, as I was a young woman, I would never date a man with kids. Never. As an older woman, I may consider depending on their age and the situation. Yeah, and th that's definitely true, um, creative. I, I understand that point of view. <clears throat> you love you some Mama Dell, no Chrissy. Come on. We all love Mama Dell. Well, we love everyone in here, but you know. Mama did. Oh, I didn't catch. Um, where, 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 where. did I not wait? Zion said something and I missed it, missed it, missed it. Um, Jill said, I feel like I've had my share, not trying to raise no one else kid. These kids today are, <laughs> that's so true. My mom, um, after me, my mom had three kids and um, I kind of help her out with them. So I'm like, I ain't taking care of nobody else's kid until I get my own. So I can understand that. Um... That would be their choice to grow out their hair. That's 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 true, um, Zion. <laughs> Thank you, Trista. 
my they'll say you shave your white side. <laughs> yeah, the grind, all of everything. That's so true. Thank you, Zion. <laughs> Did she have a reason why she does that, um, Coach Sherry? With your zooty eyes. What are you drinking, Jill? <laughs> um, Mama Dell said, when me and my husband got married at four and he had six and we have virtuous together. That's awesome, Mama Dell. Now, we know that you're a good woman now because it takes a good woman to do all that. That's awesome. Well, we already knew, but now, you know, we get a little more layer to all of that. We're talking about Mama Dell, what people think, women. Oh, Why ain't that everything nice? What? Is oh, Jill, you're living it up on a Saturday. You're here hanging out with me. I truly appreciate it. I appreciate everyone for being here. But, yeah. You know, I live my day pretty much. <laughs> Seriously, women must shave them armpit here. Yeah. That's all true, Zion. It's all about culture. Because I feel like, um, I guess the younger generation in Jamaica, as a race like women, they'll shave armpit here. But based on what I understand, the older generation don't do that. They don't shave leg hair or all those stuff. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think her husband likes it. I don't know. Maybe. You know, people have weird fetishes. So, yeah. Yeah, everybody talking about Kobe nowadays. Um, Jay Cotton said, in, in still in here, I'm at my aunt's house and shit. But thank you, Kay. <laughs> Baba Del, you are the best. So, if you guys want to, um, we can continue to talk about this topic, or we can jump in to learn a little bit of the patois. Um, that's a Jamaican patwa. So if you guys want us to jump into that, we can just drop a thumbs up and we'll move on to that. Or um, we can stay on the topic. We can chat it up because, you know, this live is all about everybody in the chat. So whatever you guys want to do, I'll do it. I always like to have a direction, but, you know, you all are hanging with me. So I want to make sure that you guys have the best time possible. So whatever you guys want to do, we can do it. Because, you know, um, if you're hosting someone, then you want to make sure they have the best time possible. So even though you have a topic, you don't want to just stay on that topic and just be like, you know. Tell, tell, or I mommy said what I ate today. Um, I, I only... Well, I won't say I only eat when I film videos, but I had um, jerk pork and um, I tried a new recipe today. So I baked a sweet potato and then I stuffed it with like uh, spinach, bacon and cream cheese stuffing, top it with extra cheese. And then I had uh, some mango salsa from a previous video that I had with that. Plus, I have my homemade jerk sauce that I have that I ate with that, too. So that video probably going to come out next Friday because I already have Monday and Tuesday's video. So you'll see chicken feet next week. I made curry chicken feet. Um, we like the singing chef, Adrian. What do you want me to sing, Kay? Because, you know, I, I can't sing. I try. Yeah, so we have... Um, chicken feet, curry chicken feet coming next week. We have um, chipotle lemon salmon. 
with another sweet potato recipe. So I have two sweet potato recipes coming next week. And salmon and pork and chicken feet. Yes, chicken feet. It's actually pretty good. It's chicken feet. <laughs> you know, I have to talk like the Americans though so that they can understand. I, I, yeah, I say chicken foot too as a Jamaican. Yeah, the recipes are, are very, very simple. I try to make the recipes simple. Um, so the chipotle lemon that was in the calzone recipe. So I like to reuse recipes that I've used before to create something different. Uh, we have two salmon recipe on the, the channel already. We have a coconut curry and we have a jerk. Now we're going to have the chipotle lemon. So I like to use similar proteins, but... Um, Poetry, you want to see more poetry? I can do more poetry. I had fun with that one, but, you know, sometimes I'm like... Jamaican receipt. <laughs> you know, they talk about invoice now. <clears throat> Ship your plate. <clears throat> Someone said that in my comment section. You know what I said? I said that um, it would never reach you because... Um, UPS or whoever I mail it would, would probably eat it and tell you they delivered it. Because it's going to smell up the whatever. Mackerel run. You know, my mom, she taught me how to cook and she never made mackerel run. Or maybe she made it, but I, I did never had any interest. But I like tin mackerel. Just cook up with a lot of pepper and all those stuff. So, yeah. Coach Tracy, her husband makes a lot of sweet potatoes. Yeah, so I have two sweet potato recipes. I have another one on the channel, which is a jerk chicken stuffed sweet potato. That was a good one. Yeah, man, tin mackerel, enough pepper. The pepper is a must, though. Yeah, I was talking um to someone today. I was telling them about tuna. I don't know if you like tuna, but tuna... How um, they make it here in America. We make it different in Jamaica. All right. So a lot of people were saying that they want to do the... the, 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 the. Aki and tuna. I've never had aki and tuna. I've had aki and mackerel before. Thank you, Mukbang. <laughs> yeah, you are something. Else. Oh yeah, blue drawers is the real deal. Thank you, um, Trista. Yeah, pepper is a must. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Yes, um, muck bag and things. Black pepper, you know. That's why I know. That's why you can cook because you know all the stuff that you need to use. Yes, Zion, I did cut my hair today. I don't. I don't like for my hair to grow too long. I feel like I don't look cute. Uh, you know, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't like I don't like facial hair. I don't like too much hair on my head. So I'm a weird, weird kid. I want to look young all the days of my life. So when I start losing hair, then I'm going to just start go bald. That sounds good, Arlita and Mommy. Yeah, I'm going to follow some of Liz's recipe because I like to try different recipes. <clears throat> creative said, get a bad weave. You know, that sounds like a good idea, Creative. I'm going to have to hit you up when that time comes. All right, yeah, we're going to do the Patwa um, trivia um, book bag. Um, Creative is still here, so. Ah, uh, yeah, that um, uh, garlic pepper is um, is powder. Yeah, it's dry. Tonka, <laughs> you know that's a tonka meal, a dog food. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have to try the tuna and aki. I have some aki in the fridge. 
All right, let's go to the um the the trivia. Thank you, um, Jill. Yes, mukbang. We use a lot of the same stuff. That rich people food, no doubt. <laughs> All right, let's do the um the patwa. All righty. All right. So this one, this one's. shit <laughs> All right. So this one it should be easy if you um if you listen keenly, Devon. Devon. Thank you, Arlita and Mommy. I appreciate you. We got to um, be all over the place. So, yeah. Yeah, that's the Jamaican. So, we need the English for it. Devon. Devon, Devon, Devon. Me Devon Noah. You really did change your name to us. Uh, <laughs> I didn't I didn't even <laughs> Um what bag said evil Devon Yeah so it's 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 don't even know. I don't even. Yeah. So Devon is just we join both words together. So it, 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 Devon, Devon. <laughs> that one is a is a hard one. Mina Noah. Yeah, that's the still patwa. Coach. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we find an easier one. All right. We are at um. E Evelyn 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 <laughs> I know right mama dad I can't believe and when you go anywhere now they gonna think you're a troll <laughs> Evelyn no, Aeon, are you saying it's evening or are you asking me? Because I can't tell you. Evelyn. Evelyn. Good evening. <laughs> Is the name Evelyn? <laughs> no, it's evening, evening, Evelyn. All right, thank you, Zion. Ooh, not a burp. All right, the next one is idiot, idiot. What you are in in what you want it in uh, patwa no we want it in english um mike and sana english so we say the patwa and then they say the english idiot can we get a vowel <laughs> coach Jerry. idiot Yeah, anybody who say idiot, that's it. Idiot. Idiot. But Jamaicans, we talk bad. We don't say idiot. Dummy, yeah. Idiot. So, it, it, you know, parents, it's, it's wrong, but they do it all the time in Jamaica. Um, can we get it in a sense? <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
So in Jamaica, it's wrong, but parents say this all the time. If they expect their child to have a certain ability and they fall a lot below that ability, teachers does it too. They say, you yeah, idiot. You yeah, idiot. Why do why you do that? You yeah, idiot. So, yeah. All right, the next one is flitters. Flitters. If you listen to it, you can get it. Flitters. 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 It's the name of a food. Flitters. Um, it's, it's culturally different, um, mukbang. It's culturally different, so, yeah, they, they do that in Jamaica, but it's, it's not, it's not personal, it's just, it's just a cultural difference, so, yeah. You still here, TLS Motivation, thank you for being here, thank you all for being here. You back to North? Yes, Aaron, because we don't want people to think you're a troll. <laughs> I think Aaron gonna be the new um, Scorpion because she got her name back. Or was that a different um, Aaron? Was that a different channel you were in, or was that the same channel you changed the name? Yeah, Fritters. Yeah, Fritters. And then the next one is. From Wadia. From Wadia. Okay, thank you. Thank you, TLS Motivation. From Wadia. So that's three words. From Wadia. Where are you from? Oh, you ch how did you do that? Everybody trying to figure out how can you change your name. But I guess probably that's the first time you change it, so that's why. Where are you from? No. From what dear? Remember, you, you dear? Dear mean day. From what dear? <laughs> from what dear so dear mean day and from is from from what dear they have a song in Jamaica they say from the other day it's like I play some boy I play we are the girls calling, we are the girls calling, we are the girls calling now, she said. <laughs> from the from the other day, from the other day. Oh, from what day? That's what I said. From what day? Yes, Mama Dell. That's why you have Coach Cherry. From what day? So pretty much it means from the other day. From what dear? So it, it, it's all over the place. Patois is, is is a crazy language that is something that we mostly talk about. Hey, G Man MVP, Wagwan, Medea, Medea. What's going on? Oh, three times in three months. Okay. Um. We're going to go to G. And this one. Go, go. <laughs> this is a profession. Go, go. It's a profession. Thank you, Mokwe. Um, Go, go.
Anyone know what go go means? <laughs> Baba is a stripper. Yeah, go go is a stripper. Yeah, so that's what they call him in Jamaica. Go go. Bad boy, yeah. You just um with boy, you spell it B Y B W O Y. All right, so this one is is really um ch chopped up. Govana, Govana, Govana. Yes, Mukbang, you got it right. It's a stripper. Yes, bilingual. <laughs> yeah, good, Michael Sana. <laughs> yeah. Um, Governor. So it's, 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 it's like chopped up. It's, um, I'll give you a hint. It's a political um, position. Governor. <laughs> Aeon, you like those songs too much. You like to listen to Spice and all those people. Go over there. No, governor. It's a it's a political position. No, not government. Government is government. Governor is governor. Yeah, Mukbang and things got it. Governor. Yeah. So governor, governor. So we don't we don't pronounce it governor. We say governor. But yeah, government is government. So we don't pronounce all our letters in patwa. So we say government. All right. The next one is gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> no, we answering them in um English. Gimme. So gimme. Like you see somebody and say, gimme, gimme that. See, I just gave it away. Gimme, gimme, gimme that. <laughs> uh, Aeon said, gimme, you spell that correctly, um, Aeon, but I want the English. Give me your money, yes. Give me your money. <laughs> give it that stick. Yeah, so give me mean give me, yeah. So it means give me. All right, this one is good morning. Good morning. I think everybody should get that one. Good morning. Good morning to me like Raga Shanti. Good morning, sir. Good morning, lady. <laughs> yeah, everybody will say good morning. That's the correct answer. Good morning. Good morning. Can I have your steak and your money? <laughs> All right. You guys are learning. You guys just getting it off the bat. All right. This one. Ed no good. Ed no good. Ed no good. Ed no good. Your Ed no good. Your Ed no good. 
Thank you, mukbang, mukbang and things. Ed no good. Ed, Ed. We don't pronounce our H's in Jamaica. So Ed, Ed no good. <laughs> so Mike and, and, and Sana are very, I think they're Jamaican. You guys Jamaican, right? Because I need to check you all out. So Mike and Sana is Jamaican, I think. So yeah, if you if you watch them, then you'll kind of get the answer. So I mean, your, your head is not good. Like your head no scrawn right. Your head no good. Sick head, mad head. Yes, everybody who says that. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, I'm going to, um, let me, give me one second. Let me make sure. Hey, Spicy Spivey, welcome. Let me make sure I, um, connect with you there. All right, I just connected with you guys. All right, let's go back to the patwa. All right. And... And Miggle. And Miggle. How are you doing today, Spicy Spivey? And Miggle. <laughs> There's a song in Jamaica that says, And Miggle and Scratch Me. God know me. And Miggle and Scratch Me. And Miggle. And Miggle. So if, if you listen to it correctly, um, you'll get it. We don't pronounce a lot of our letters in Patwa. So Miggle, Miggle, Miggle. So you see we say Miggle, but it's actually Middle. So An, we don't pronounce our H's. Awesome spicy spivey. And Miggle. Mama Dell says Mingle. And Han Miggle. J Jill Comfort Zone says Mingle. And Miggle. I just gave it all away. Mm. Spicy Spivey said, and my girl, Ann Miggle, Ann Miggle. So I gave you all the clues that you need. Thank you, Jill. You all give up. It's hand middle. Your hand middle. All right. The next one is. Oh, you do. Oh, you do. So somebody walk up to you and say, Oh, you do. That's awesome, um, Coach Sherry. I'm so happy about that. Oh, Mike and Sana, um, I know you guys said it, but I wanted to um, make sure the other people were guessing. Oh, you do. No, it's not all you do. Um, you got the last um, two parts, technically. Oh, you do. So someone walk up to you and say, oh, you do today. Oh, you do. If you guys just coming up, coming in and you have a thumbs up the live, please thumbs it up for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Yeah, but Coach Sherry, that's, 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 that's awesome when you find at least one family member who um, supports you in what you're trying to achieve. So that, yeah. 
how are you? Yes, yeah, so how you do? That's how you doing? How are you? It's like, how you do? So it's like, they come up there and say, how you do today? So they want to know how you doing. Yeah. Um. So it's in Jamaica, the whole pathways, as a lot of people will tell you, it all differs based on how you use it in a sentence. So it's like, Wagwan and all those stuff. Um, let's see. Let's go to another one. Um, we're at one hour and 35 minutes. If the house still popping, then we'll bring it up to three hours, which I know you guys are, are, are awesome. So we're probably going to be here for a while. And I appreciate you all for being here. Um, I, nothing ain't going on for IG. Yes, guys, you can, um, connect with each other. Just make sure that you just put one heart and, um, you, because in this stream over here, it's not a gross stream because we have a lot of genuine people in here who mean genuine, uh, we're going to connect with you genuinely. They're going to support you. Um, but we, Say that you need to support them back. Oh, mukbang and things. I know you're chilling. We're the same way. When we go over to our um, families, we just chill and just enjoy the, the the ride. But we have some new people in here, so um, they can connect. Um, and you know, I have the best people here on YouTube. So if you're here, you know you're about a part of the best team. And you will connect with awesome people because all the people in here are just the realest, the realest people them in the place. All right. Mukbang is chilling. All right. Now I find nothing good. Let's see if I can find. Yes, um, I'm from St. Mary. I live in Jamaica for like 20, year, 20 years. All right. What's the next one? All right. So this one is, should be pretty easy. What we did, we drop off one letter. Elastic. Elastic. I think you all should get that pretty easy. Elastic. 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 Yes, Kingston is the capital, yeah. I'm from the country part of Jamaica. The country. Hey, Maria Citron or Cintron. Hey, welcome, welcome. If you guys haven't thumbs it up yet, please thumbs it up for me. All right, let's see. I'm going to have to keep up with my chats over here. This crazy computer. Yeah, Kingston is the capital. All right. We did this one last week. We're going to do it again. Britta. All right. Nobody answer elastic yet. You all give up. If you want to move on to the next one, I'll give you the answer to that one. And we can move on to the next one. Elastic. 